Matthew Crowder. I'm one of the volunteers at Hearts of Gold. Today I'm going to be talking with Richard Berkeley, the founder of Hearts of Gold, to learn a little bit more about the organization and more about him as a person. Richard, to start out, could you tell me, uh, with the upcoming article that, that, that we're going to be publishing, Start a Charity, Are We Crazy? Can you tell me a little bit about your choice of that? Sure. Uh, well, I was asked to write an article uh, to really sort of give an overview of Hearts of Gold and what it's about and sort of where it's come from. And you know, pretty much, you know, we, you know, we started this a number of years ago. And people have really not heard from me unless they've attended one of our functions or I've sort of met them on the street. And uh, what the board of directors and you know our employees really wanted to do was to give people a little bit of background uh, as to how we got started and what we're about. And so, you know, I started with the title, you know, "Start a Charity." Are you crazy? And and that really came up because a really good friend of mine, uh, when I talked about creating a foundation here in Ecuador, he went, "What are you crazy?" And I went, "Well, what do you mean?" And he, really, he was. Uh, you know, concerned about the challenges and the difficulties and the bureaucracy and sort of all the things that go along with starting, uh, you know, something like this. You, you end up really in the public, your family gets exposed, and ultimately it's sort of not the things you think it'll be because, of course, why, why do you start a charity? You know, you start a charity to, you know, help out children or, you know, some uh, sector uh, of humanity that has a need. And But what happens when you actually create a foundation is you get involved with politics and finance and bureaucracy and regulation and, you know, people sniping about how you do it. So it, it, it really ends up becoming something different. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the organization? How did it start and when? Well, uh, we landed here uh, about four years ago on my birthday and you know, we were attending a gringo uh, night out uh, at one of our favorite restaurants. We were having dinner and uh, sort of the need came up and some people had been speaking with me about you know how we could help a certain orphanage and it just so happened that you know I, I, I had some coins and, and in my pocket my gold coins and some silver coins and we decided well we'd hold a raffle and so once uh, we got that raffle underway from what you know, a really simple process uh, it, it really took off and we ended up, you know, raising more money than you know we sort of had anticipated, and we ended up looking after uh, two orphanages and a bunch of uh, uh, country families for Christmas. And what's happened since then with the organization? Well, you know, four yeah, four years has gone by pretty rapidly, and and uh, you know, Hearts of Gold is, is has grown dramatically, and and of course, anybody who knows Hearts of Gold and, and knows what we do has probably been to one of our Christmas galas or, you know, recently to our, uh, you know, barn dance and barbecue and uh, we've turned into a legal foundation. We now are fully staffed. We have a program director that we actually got from the ministry uh, here in Ecuador who sort of really knows the ins and outs and, you know, we've been helping, you know, numerous groups, uh, you know, our, our, our focus is children but also the extension uh, of those children and their families and that has resulted in, uh, you know, running programs. Uh, you know, that had to do with care and feeding, but also uh, psychology and, and, and psychological health to families, and also by extension that support to seniors. So, um, really, it, it, we've become a very diverse operation. 